So it's really clear that having a good portfolio can skyrocket your business, whether you're a graphic designer, a video editor, or a music artist. Your portfolio is the best way to present your work and show off your creativity, how you started and how it's going. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a portfolio with Behance. And with that said, let's jump straight into it. So this is video two in this series. I made a dedicated video on this channel about everything about portfolio. I'm going to link it here on the card or you check out the link in the description and watch everything you need to know about what a portfolio is. And then you can watch this very one so let's start creating a portfolio all you have to do is to open up your browser and then open up www.behance.net so once you open up behance this is what you see you're going to see a variety of projects but then you're going to see a non-customized kind of project because you'll be logging in for the very first time and then I have an account with Behance already, which is this one here. It's my personal account, but I promote my business here on Behance. So I'm going to log into a fresh site so we can start creating a new account from scratch. And really quick, this tutorial applies to whatever industry you find yourself. It may not necessarily be graphic design, but for this tutorial, I'm going to make a graphic designer portfolio. It applies to video editors, music artists, and whatsoever. So that's it. Let's just follow along. So I'm going to log out my current account. I'm going to sign out so I can log in a new account. I'm going to create a new account. So this is it. When you log into Behance, you're going to see a non-customized page just like this. You're going to see graphic design, fine art, photography, and so on. That's because there are mixed industries here, mixed creatives here, there are mixed creative people here. So you're going to click on sign up and when you click on sign up, it's going to bring you to this page where you're going to create an account. And with that, you can type in your email address and your password. So I'm going to skip this part while I create the account. So after creating my account, it brought me to this page where I'm going to pick one or more topics which I like to be seen on my feed. So I'm going to click on graphic design and I'm going to click on um, UI UX design and I'm going to click on product design as well. These are things that interest me so well, creative challenges and so on. So I'm going to click on see my custom feed. When you click on that, it's going to take you to your customized feed. So anytime you come to Behance, it's going to show you jobs or projects from people of your interest. So pretty much this is what we get and you're going to see your customized feed here. So let's go to our profile course. You actually want to build your own profile here on Behance so you can show off your work. So move on to this particular icon here where you have your profile picture. Click on that. And it's going to open up your profile just like this. So this is your profile here. And pretty much, you're going to see your profile checklist. This is going to guide you on what you're going to add to optimize your profile. And what you need to know about creating your portfolio is that you're going to ensure that you optimize your profile and ensure that every detail in your profile is complete and it looks as professional as possible because you want to convey clicks to clients so anyone that comes into your profile should be able to see what you've got and who you are who you really are and what you do and then they can hire you because the reason why you are creating this is because you want to get hired okay so first of all add your profile photo and that is the first thing i'm going to do so i'm going to go to where i have this edit your profile when you click on that click on upload okay you're going to click on upload when you click on upload, I have my Behance assets here. So I already created my profile picture. You can create a profile picture of your choice and click on open. And when you click on open, you're going to crop this to fit what you want. So I'm going to enlarge that exactly. Crop and save. So while this is loading, I would like us to understand that you have a choice to build either a business profile or a personal profile. And this depends on the kind of brand you are building if you are building a personal brand then you need a personal profile if you are building a business brand then you need a business profile and this is what i mean if you are building a personal brand then you're going to add your profile picture that is your face you so people can recognize you 
And if you are building a business brand, then you need your logo. That's your business logo. And then everything about your profile will be about your business. That is if you are building a business brand. But if it's a personal brand, then everything about your profile will be about, will be about you. So once this is uploaded, let's go back to our profile and see how it looks like. So pretty much, this is how it appears right here. And then you can see your profile checklist has been added okay so you have added a profile picture then then we're going to claim a url we're going to see dennis joshua and i'm building a personal brand here so i'm okay with dennis joshua too it's okay let's see if we take off this it's already existing one it's already existing okay so two is okay let's see three okay Dennis Joshua 3 is okay. So we're going to save that. And that's going to serve as your personal URL for your profile. Okay, that's your portfolio link. Okay. So anytime a client asks for your portfolio, you're going to send that link to your client. That is where your portfolio is. So you're going to edit availability, full-time job. Are you ready for a full-time job? or freelance and project commission so since it's a personal profile i like to present myself here as a freelancer so i'm going to click on freelance and then you're going to set your minimum budget okay so you're going to set your minimum budget to 100 dollars just like that and going to be usd okay 100 that's it then you set it to usd then so once you set your minimum budget you're going to check out your when are you available okay uh, let's check this out over six months in three or six months within the next three months within the next few weeks i'm going to leave that at default because i'm not sure yet what that means and then you're going to see this other page where you see want to accept payment on behance connect with stripe so this only works if you want to accept payment on Behance. That is, clients will always pay you on Behance. So if that's not what you want, you can ignore that and then call to action. Is it hire us or hire me? So if it's a personal profile, you're going to leave it at hire me. But if it's a business profile, you're going to click on hire us. So I'm going to leave it at hire me and then click on done. And once you click on done, it's going to show you Behance and to Stripe stuff like that. So you're going to click on no and that's not what we want so that's okay then you're going to see create your first project at this point we're going to skip this because we don't want to create a project yet until we finish optimizing our profile so i'm going to click on that and cut that off click on where you have your add a banner image so this banner image is very important because it's going to help explain the kind of projects you do remember in our previous video about portfolio we spoke that your portfolio should be able to speak exactly what you do how you do and your process so we're going to click on add banner image and choose banner so when you choose that you click on open and it begins to load just like that okay so once that opens up this is what you see you're going to see drag image to reposition that is if it's not well positioned the way you want you can drag the image to reposition that you can drag it to uh, left you can drag it to right whichever where you want it so for me i like to reposition this this way so it shows because i do a variety of flyer designs i do church flyers i do business flyers and so on social media flyers as well so once you are done with that click on done and that's it so this is how it looks like and that's very cool so next thing you want to do is to click on edit your profile so let's optimize our profile so with this i'm going to come down to where i have first name dennis last name joshua and then occupation i'm going to add the yeah, graphic designer and that's cool then your company that is if you work in any company or you have a business on your own and you are just presenting yourself here as a a personal brand so i'm going to set my company to denix creatives okay that's my business name and and then location nigeria so you can choose whatever location you have and then city i'm going to set here to calabar and that's it calabar then website url i have my school website so i'm going to use my school website here and that is dka <laughs> okay so i'm going to set it to www.dk 
academy.com so i'm using that there and once my business website is set i'm going to change it so you can use any other website but if you don't have any website you can leave it at default and it's okay just like that so next up i'm going to come down to where you have create or join a team if you have a team you can set it here but if you don't have then it's okay can skip that and let's come to on the web so this is where you can link your twitter your facebook your dribble your linkedin or whatsoever so first i'm going to link my instagram pretty much i love working with my instagram so much so i'm going to link my instagram and my instagram username is denix creatives okay denix creatives and that's it and then i'm going to link my youtube as well link um denix creatives as well so that's it i'm going to submit that and then i'm going to okay skip that you can skip that and let's go straight to about me and on this about me section you're going to see section third the way you you see about me you can write about me you can write about us you can write you can customize the title to whatever you want. So for me, I'm going to leave it at about me. And where you have this description is where you're going to write a little about yourself and straight to the point. And here you're going to add, outline exactly what you do. So I'm going to copy my about me where I have Dennis Joshua is a multi-talented graphic designer with super skills in print, branding, and packaging design. So I'm going to copy that copy that and take it to uh description paste it there as simple as that straight to the point it should outline exactly what you do so next up you're going to see where you have work experience click on add work experience and it takes you to this other page where you're going to see your full name and then occupation you're going to add graphic designer there yeah and location nigeria city calabar Okay, so this is where you are going to set your full resume and then they're going to ask a lot of questions here about yourself because this site contains your full resume. So your contact info, I prefer people contacting me through my email than my phone number. So I'm going to set my email here, askdennisjoshua at gmail.com. Then your website, you can leave your default Behance portfolio uh, site link. So you leave it there. So on where we have personal statements, this is where you're going to write the full bio of yourself, your strengths, your weakness, everything. <laughs> you're going to write it here, but be careful not to showcase your weakness, okay? Show your strengths, show your wins, okay? But don't show too much of your weakness. Okay, so I'm going to copy out my full bio, which I have here. So if you don't know how to write a professional bio, I'm going to link up a link to GWrite's page where GWrite is going to teach you how to write a professional bio that will scale your business and make your business professional. It speaks more about you. So check out the link in the description and check out GWrite's page on Instagram. So I'm going to copy out my full bio just like that. I'm going to copy that and take it to Behance and paste that here. So I took my time to write this out and g Wright helped me to review this and make it look more professional. So when you check out g Wright, she will help you write a professional bio just like this one, okay? So the next thing you see here is your work experience. So you're going to add if you have worked in a particular company before or if this is your first time working, you are just working as a freelancer. But if you've worked in any place, pretty much this is where you're going to put it down. So add work experience, which is what I'm going to do. Company, I'm going. I'm not going to add the first place I work, but I'm going to add the second one. So it's okay. Chuxi Biz Ventures. Okay. So you can click on add that. If they have any websites, add it there. Location, you're going to set it to Nigeria. That's the location of the business. Nigeria, then city is Calabar. And that's cool. Okay. Position I was a lead graphic designer there. Okay. And then starting from uh, February in 20, 2017, then ending in um, July, okay, June 
2022. So pretty much that's it. Then what was your responsibility there? You're going to check out this. Your responsibility, I I make make prints, designs. I make designs for prints and um, and um, tutor graphic design beginners so that's it that was my responsibility there I, I i need to include you can include um the your area of expertise here so with that i'm going to adjust this make designs for prints in like okay or example uh example flyers uh brokers and more okay and you can make this to be another paragraph okay you can make i also tutor graphic design beginners okay so that's it then you're going to click on add work experience so once you click on that it sets itself here to cbs ventures and that's it so you can add more work experience if you have more you can click on add work experience again and you add another one then education you can add um the schools you've attended and because of time i would have loved to add that but i'm not going to add that down because i like to reserve some of my personal informations okay so awards but this is very necessary because you need to put yourself out there as a professional add your education add your awards if you have any then languages you speak pretty much you can add um english okay english and then Flint native advanced conversational which is which are what i'm going to leave there nigeria uh we have uh accent we have accent so i can't use advanced Flint or native i'm going to add conversational this means you speak english and you can speak english that one understands one can listen to you and understand so conversational then uh skills what are your area of expertise so this is where you're going to put out everything about your skills as a graphic designer and mind you if you are making a portfolio for let's say you're a music artist put all your skills here if you're a video editor put all your skills here so since i'm making this portfolio for graphic designers then i'm going to add my skills first i'm going to add adobe illustrator okay then uh hit on enter once you set a particular one adobe uh, photoshop then corel draw corel draw then i'm going to add flyer design i'm going to add brokeur brokeur design i'm going to add logo design and then you can add as many as possible what exactly you do but you have to go straight to the point so after adding your skills the next part you see is this custom session and this is where if you have anything to write about yourself you can put it on the custom section by giving it a title and the details so all these parts are for your custom sections sorry that so much noise in the background but we still have to deal with this okay so once you are done with that we are going to review our profile to see everything we have done so you see your basic information here you see on the web that is the two links we added the about me work experience and so so if you have any link you want to add to your website maybe there is a customized link you like to add to your website you can add it here and pretty much that would be cool so once you're done we're going to click on back to profile so when you click on back to profile you can see how our profile has been customized you can see it here your name and every other stuff completed okay and then when you click on view full resume you're going to see your full resume here you can print it out okay cancel that so this is your full resume okay and the more information you add to your resume the more uh your resume looks voluminous and has more pages okay so let's let's go back so moving back to our profile we are going to create our very first project and this is how you're going to be creating projects in behance and then you set up your portfolio so time to time you bring up your recent project here and show off your work so 
Before then, let's take a look at other stuff we have here. If you click on services, okay, you can create a service like your own service, Adobe Stock, NFT, live streams, your own live streams, mood boards. So, so here you're going to input projects that you want to use to get inspirations from other people. So whenever you are browsing through Behance and you find projects that you want to get inspirations, check out yeah, mood board. So if you click on find projects, you see a lot of projects you like to use to inspire yourself and then you're going to save it there. So anyone that you find interesting, once you save it there, it goes to your mood board. So that's it. And then appreciations is where you're going to see projects you appreciate and your own projects that people appreciate. Okay, so that's it. Let's not go there. Let's come back to work because this is what we are interested at. So I'm going to click on create a project. And pretty much when you click on create a project, this page pops up just like that. And then you're going to see start building your project. You can, you can click on image, text, photo grid. And so, so for me, I'm going to click on image because I want to upload a project, a branding I did for Jaywood Photo Studio. So you can input the mockups as well. Whatever way you can present your project to interest your clients, do it right here. But for this tutorial, I'm going to pick up these two projects and open up. And when you open that up, let's wait for this to... So once the projects show up just like this, you can customize this to your test whatever you want and with time you're going to get used to this for the meantime you may find it difficult to customize this but with time you're going to enjoy working with this so let's rearrange this order i like this uh other one to come down while this other one goes up okay so to rearrange that you're going to click on this and click on reorder project so you can click on this and take this up okay simply let's click on this and take this upwards and that's it click on save new order so this is how i want the project to be and then if you click on edit you can add caption to this particular image that is if you are posting a project that has different explanations for each of the image you upload you can add captions and you can delete any image you want to with that so that's it and then you can add tag or attach assets to any of the image just like that okay and on this space you can add any text you want to but for me i want to add text to the top okay so i'm going to click on text and to add that text i already created this text here so i'm going to copy this text description for this particular project and don't forget the tips i shared on the video on how to create a portfolio about portfolio okay I shared tips about portfolio and I told you whenever you are explaining projects, you should take it into details. Okay, go straight into the details. Talk about the brand, talk about the challenges you face, talk about what inspired you to work on the project and talk a lot about the project. So when I copy that, I'm going to take it to Behance and then on the text, I'm going to paste that there. So this is it. Okay, this is how it is and you can always adjust your text you can change the alignment you can choose the ones you want to make bold okay like this i'm going to make that bold and i'm going to adjust this to the center okay you can adjust to the center or left alignment and whatever you want you can always adjust you can create paragraphs okay anyhow you want it to look like you can do that right there so that's it and then you can Create a photo grid, whatever way you want, you can embed whatever you want to embed here. You have all the settings here. And then if you have um, a prototype of this project, you can upload it here, 3D and so on. Then one cool thing about Behance is that it allows you to mention the softwares you use in working on a particular project. So, and it also allows you to attach assets you use in working on a particular project. So if you want to attach the assets, you can click on attach assets and upload it right here. Okay. And that's, that's it. And if you collaborated with anyone on any project, you can also add it here that you collaborated with someone. Let's see. On settings on settings you're going to see project title which we are going to add um jehu jehu okay 
photo studio flyers okay so i'm going to set it to jwood photo studio flyers just like that and then i'm going to set my project tag you can simply tag it a uh, poster you can tag it social media post you can tag it uh brand identity um you can tag banner as well uh let's say advertising banner and so on you can add as many as you want okay posts and so on okay so let's leave it there then how would you categorize this project i like to categorize it so i like to categorize this project under um, graphic design that's it tools use i'm going to set it to adobe illustrator because that's the tool i use adobe illustrator that's what i use in creating the design and then behance visibility set it to everyone okay if it's private it won't be visible so everyone is perfect and then you're going to click on um, content if it's for adults you know what to do here so add co-owners credit and more so if you collaborated with other designers to create this project you can add co-owners credits and more so if you click on that you add people that you collaborated with and once all these settings is done pretty much you don't have to waste much time uploading this okay just set up this at once and publish you can save it as draft maybe if you want to bring in more into this project later before you publish you can save it as draft but if it's good to go click on publish and pretty much your project is about to be published so pretty much this is the link to the project you just finished working on okay so you can close that and this is the project so if you come to your uh, profile let's see how it looks like on your profile if you click on your profile and let's see your first project this is how it shows up here and pretty much that's it so this is how to create a portfolio page on behance thank you very much for watching this video and leave all your questions in the comments and i'm going to answer if you like to learn more about graphic design click on the video on your screen and keep watching thank you so much i'll see you in the next one peace